In other news, while the natural instinct of teachers may be to intervene in school fights, the Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association tutor is cautioning its members against such actions. Speaking on the Now Morning Show on Monday, Second Vice President at Tutor Marsha Huggins says the level of intervention must be considered. She says teachers need to ensure they do not injure students or themselves in such situations. Depending on the nature of the fight, particularly that one that we saw on social media recently, um, that was a very dangerous situation to find yourself in, especially if you're alone and you have a mob of students around you. Um, so you have to be very mindful of the risks involved. I wouldn't say don't intervene, but be careful how you do so. Ms. Huggins says all stakeholders must get involved in treating with instances of indiscipline in schools. These include members of the community, parents, police and representatives from tutor and the various parent-teachers associations. So it, it means that we have to sit with all of the stakeholders to come up with ways and means of managing this. And one of the things I would like people to know as well, it is not as simple as just putting a police officer in a school or, um, or putting a police force outside. You have many um, pieces of legislation and regulations that govern um, schools. So we have to consider all of the legal issues as well. Ms. Huggins said teachers should be guided by the discipline matrix which is found in the school's code of conduct to determine how to treat with different types of offenses and what penalties will apply.